agent. If you're a new agent, type new agent um, in the chat. If you're a brand new agent, type new agent in the chat if you're a new agent, right? Um, so that we can address you. Congratulations. Let's congratulate all the new agents that's here. Um, you know, nothing wrong with being a new agent. Uh, congratulations um, again. Congratulations, congratulations. Uh, so we want to make sure that uh, we address all your concerns. Um, you know, that way, you know, you're on. Uh, that way, you know, you're on and, and you're doing the very first steps on learning how to be successful within our platform. And, you know, I asked you guys a question earlier, like who's here that want to learn how to make a lot of money? You know what I'm saying? Who's here, right? That's you say, look, man, I want to make a, a lot of money. I want to have a lot of success. You know what I'm saying? Like who's here? that want to learn how to position yourself to make a lot of money, right? We had a conversation earlier with the, the team this morning talking about the difference between someone that's wealthy that's not, it's, it's information. That's all that it is. So if you on this call right now and say, look, man, I want to make a lot of money. I want to have a lot of success. If that's you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want you guys to type me in the chat, right? If you want to learn how to have a lot of success and make a lot of money, right? Type me into the chat if that's you. Right, type me. Everyone should be typing me. It should be like over 30 me. This, this, it should be over 50 people on this call right now, be honest with you. Your whole team should be on this call, right? And this is how you can tell someone that's serious is not serious. Like you should be on this call, right? Perfect, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So, um, you know, and the very key thing is information, right? So you wanna be able to learn information, learn the service and product that we're offering. Right, so I'm gonna go over kind of you guys some background on, you know, credit, what is credit is. Um, so that way you guys could, you know, educate yourself um, and learn. And this is where you'd be able to become successful here, knowing the information, because what we offer is credit restoration and a protection plan, not just credit within our program, but secondly, we have a way people can earn extra income with us. So if you know how to explain this information properly, you will be able to get a lot of prospects and a lot of enrollments. It's not just about, you know, hey, look, I want to sign somebody up to make money, make a quick cash real quick, but you want to properly educate your prospects and your clients on the services that we offer. You know what I'm saying? It's not always about, hey, Leo, you can make a lot of money here. If you can't educate your prospect and client properly, they're not going to sign up with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, why should they sign up with you? A lot of people, what they're trying to do is please sign up. Hey, this is what it is. Sign up as credit repair. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to do that. If you knew, that's fine. If you knew a new agent, that's fine. You could do a, a, a three-way call with your mentor who got you involved. They'll be able to explain everything to your client until you become successful and understand everything, right? That's very, very key. Um, so that's why you want to learn this information and take time to learn this information, learn about credit, read up on it, right? And this is how you become successful, you know, educating yourself. So now we're going to go ahead and dive into educating you guys about what credit is. So this is where you really want to take note. So let's talk about what credit is because, you know, when you're talking to a client or prospect or even for yourself, you want to know exactly what credit is. Right, so you want to teach yourself this stuff. You want to learn this information. You want to apply this information. Right, and you know a lot of times people say, "Yeah, you can trust me. You can trust my word." People are going to go off your word when it comes to business, or when it comes to a loan. The bank's not going to go off your word. They're going to go off of, "Hey, how well can you be trusted based on your credit score?" That's what credit is. Right, so a lot of times that's your reflection. So people say, "Yeah, I'm a good person. I had a great job. Like, why bank should a bank loan you money?" Right, so credit is the trust that allows a party to provide money or resources to another party, wherein the second party does not reimburse the first party immediately. So basically, you borrow money from the bank, you're not paying them back immediately. They let you borrow money for, you know, maybe 30 days, you have to make minimal payments on that loan or maybe minimal payments on that credit card you may have, right? And, that, and the way they could determine that is based on a credit score, right? So now they could trust you. So if you got a 500 credit score, we all know, look, you can't be trusted, right? But you got good credit, now you can be trusted, now you can be able to get a loan. So that's what credit is. Well, a party will lend you money, right? And you make payments to them, right? Or it could be resources because sometimes for businesses, you can get uh, products and services, right? And you pay them back later for even businesses, right? But they go off a of credit score, which is very important. This is what credit is. So when you talk to a client, you want to let them know, hey, look, if you got less than perfect credit, you're not trustworthy to the banks for money. You want to become trustworthy and get your credit in position so that way you could be trusted with money. You could be trusted to purchase a home, right? You could be trusted to purchase a car. And I want to ask you guys a question, right? What can we credit use, be used for? You guys can answer this question in the chat right now. What can credit be used for?
What can me credit use be used for? You guys can answer this in the chat. Or you guys can unmute. Like this is interactive. I don't want to be like, hey, everyone just like a lecture. You guys could unmute and answer this question. What can what can what can credit be used for? To leverage, to buy houses, to get tap into real estate, buy well, cars. Well, okay. What else? Credit was built to make you money and save money. Okay. What else can you use credit for? Business loans. Okay. What else? Get approved for credit cards, high credit limits, um, the purchase houses. Yep. 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 And someone touching a unique one. Low interest yeah. rates. Someone touching a unique yep. one. Yeah. He said, yep. credit, he said mortgage rates. Lower interest rates, um, high high credit limits. Okay. Higher buying power. Okay. So, so now, someone touched on a unique one, which is for even jobs. How many people knew here that even jobs and employment check your credit sometimes to see if you qualify to work for them? How many people knew that? How many people knew that? Did anyone know that? You know, they do that, especially when you apply to work at a bank um, or financial, something you get with financial, they'll look at your credit. Correct, correct, correct. So even some institution will check your credit see if you qualify to work for them. So like, um, Bank of America, a bank, Wells Fargo, some positions, they'll check your credit, see if you could work for them, qualify, right? Because if you can't be trusted with your credit or your money, how would they trust you managing other people's money and credit? That makes sense, right? So you want to make sure your personal credit, even for employment purposes. My brother's in the army and he got promoted for a sergeant position. And for him to get that promotion, he had to have, um, he had to have good credit because they did a full background check on him. They checked his credit and he didn't have the credit up to par. He would not get that sergeant promotion. You know what I'm saying? So even for employment purposes, credit is important. So even purchase homes and cars, um, you need your credit in order, right? And this is these are assets. It's very important for people that don't get business line of credit. You need to get your personal credit in order to even qualify for business line of credit, even for employment purposes. So you think do you think it's you know now people really need this? Do, do you think it's a very important need to have good credit now? Going over why you can use credit, and this is a question for you guys. All right? Do you think? Knowing the fact what credit could be used for, do you think it's really important for people to have good credit? Is a yes or no question? Yes or no? Yes or no? That's yes, absolutely. absolutely. Right, because now when you talk to your clients, you can stress the importance of having good credit. You need credit for a house. You need credit yeah. to get good interest rate on cars. So now you let them know, hey, this is why you need credit. This is why you need good credit, right? So when people tell you, I can just use everything cash. No, you cannot use everything cash. Because yes, you could do everything cash, but if you got a 400 credit score and you're trying to get a financial institution job, they're going to deny you. You try and get a business line of credit, they're going to deny you. So you need to get your personal credit in order. You try and become a homeowner, you're not trying to buy the house cash, $400,000 cash. Why not leverage your credit and get a mortgage on it? Why not use the bank's money to buy your house? Why not use the bank money to get a new vehicle? So when you educate your clients that way, I'm telling you, it's going to make sense for them. So you got to make sense for your clients. You got to make sense for people. So a lot of times people just think sign up. So no, make it make sense for them on why they need to get their credit in position, on why they need our services and program. You understand? So once you understand that, you'll be able to stress the fact to your clients when you're talking to them, the importance of having good credit, especially being an adult. If you're an adult, like, okay, life happens, then you lost your job, and bills didn't get paid, but if you know there's a solution not there for you, and you're not taking care of your credit, you got family and kids, you're irresponsible. So sometimes we got to uh, mention that in a professional manner. Uh, look, this is something that you want to make sure you got taken care of as an adult, you got kids and families to put them in a good position. That's not going to make them think, you know what? Let me get my credit in position. I, I, I got family dependent on me. I, got, I need to get a house for my kids. You understand? So you got to educate your clients in that manner or it makes sense for them. Now, I want to go over FICO and Vantage score. Two different types of scoring system. A lot of times you may hear this. People say, oh, what's FICO and Vantage? So you guys can know what the difference is, all right? Um, so the difference uh, with FICO is Fair Isaac Corporation, right? They're used by 90% of top lenders who make lending decisions based off that, that scoring calculation. Because like an algorithm, we're going to kind of go over that calculation here with you guys shortly, right? So uh, with banks, um, when you try and get a loan, when you try and get a car, they go off FICO score, right? Vantage scores like Credit Karma, they use a different calculation, but they do not use percentages. 
like all the percentages, like Fair Isaac would use. So with the FICO score, they have a more strict calculation when it comes to your credit score. So that's why sometimes you may see some people you talk to, yeah, I got a 700 credit score on Credit Karma, but when I look on uh, my Experian, it shows me 600 because the Experian website shows FICO score, right? So FICO score has a more strict grading system, right? So that's why I tell my clients, you want to go off the FICO, right? Credit Karma, you just want to see the negative items you have on there. The scoring system is different because banks don't use Vantage scores. Most banks do not use it. So no point to go off that Credit Karma score. You just want to go off the negative items that's on there, right? So if they're trying to get approved for a house, the bank's going to look at the FICO. They're not going to care about, oh, Credit Karma score is 700. No, we're not going off that. We're going off FICO on what we see within our system, right? So when your clients tell you, yeah, my credit's okay. I have good credit. Yeah, it shows me a 700 on you know, I have like two collection accounts show me a 700 on Credit Karma. It may not be the same for FICO. When you're trying to get a house, you may get denied because your score is different than the Vantage score. That makes sense, guys? I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense? If it makes sense, let yeah. me know in the comments. That makes a lot of sense. Lot of sense. So it's two different sense. systems. So when you talk to your clients, they're going to be mentioned, oh, what's FICO and what's Vantage? Credit Karma uses Vantage. Obviously, you get what you pay for. It's a free application. You use a free system. Um... FICO is a more difficult grading system. So you will have Experian.com use that. You will have my FICO, we show you that FICO score. When we do a hard pull, when a client first sign up, we show them the FICO score um, when they first sign up. But a client would have, they would mention, oh, credit card is that advantage. So you just want to kind of educate your clients that banks will go off the FICO score. I let my clients know, use the credit card just to see the negative items, such as collections, the payments, things like that. Those are accurate, right? Um, not saying that the Vantage score is inaccurate, it's just that is a different scoring system. And no banks use Vantage, all banks use FICO. They came out with a new FICO scoring system called FICO 10. Not important right now because most banks are not using FICO 10 right now. Some banks are using FICO 6, FICO 7, and FICO 8. So FICO 10, don't worry about it right now. Um, most banks are not using that. Just keep everything simple for your clients because you overcomplicate this for your clients, you're gonna get them confused. <laughs> So just keep everything simple. You don't want to kind of, you don't need to go too much into it unless they bring it up to you. Then you can kind of bring, explain the difference between FICO and then the Credit Karma Vantage score um, when it comes to that. So you guys can screenshot this um, so that way you guys can kind of know and educate yourself on that as well too. Um, you know, so uh, very, very key uh, as well too. Just kind of know this, educate yourself so you guys can be well versed. Um, give me one moment, hold on. Give me one moment. I was going to educate you guys because this is key, like to get a lot of signups. Like, you give me on the phone with a client. Uh, you give me on the phone with a client. Like, Um, so if, um, if, um, if you give me my phone with a client, like I will be able to educate them about credit, certain things like you, you need your credit in, get you situated because the importance of it is really important. Like real talk, when people try to push it off, you don't want to push it off because you never know when you need it for emergencies or when you try to get approved for something like as an adult, you got to have good credit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're trying to say like, you don't have a cell phone as an adult. That's like uncommon. You feel me? So when you kind of stress the importance like that, like, okay, you're right. Let me get my credit fixed. Like is 188, but I'm going to get better things on the back end. You know what I'm saying? So you just want to kind of educate your clients in that way. Um, so that way you're able to really, you properly educate your clients. Um, hold on. I want to go over this with you. There you go. And I'm going to go over the protection plan. So this part I want to kind of go over with you. This is going to be a protection plan as well. Um, basically, just go over the credit score calculations. Okay. So it's like a pie chart, five major components. Definitely screenshot this so you can also educate your clients. The two major things that's important with helping people build up credit so they can get approved for a car, a house, whatever you use it for, is these two things on the right. Obviously, the majority of this pie chart is 35% and 30%. So like a pie chart calculation on the calculation of the credit score, right? So we'll start with payment history. 35% is payment history. Have you paid your accounts on time? So any collection account that's late, 
or show up on that person's credit, that goes into that 35% category. You understand? So we want to make sure that that client, if they have collection accounts, hey, look, that impact your score by 35%. That's why you want collection accounts to go off and your score would improve, right? And the other second, second major component is 30%, which is credit utilization. How much balances you have on your credit cards? How much do you owe? 30%. So the rule of thumb is you do not want to go over 30% of your credit card limit, right? For example, we have a thousand dollar credit card, right? You don't want to go over 30%, which is $300. If you go over 30%, your score could decrease, right? So these are the two major components, right? So now I just give them a number not to go over. Secondly, these are important too, but these are two major ones, right? When people are trying to get good credit, you know, they got to master these two immediately. So that way they could do it, have to do with their credit. Now, if people don't have no credit cards, because credit cards factor into this, this is revolving lines of credit, okay? Revolving lines of credit, you can write this down, is going to be credit cards, lines of credit revolving where you pay it off, you can use it again and pay it off. Those are considered revolving lines of credit. Then you have types of credit, which is 10%, which is considered student loans, mortgages, or car payment. Those are considered installment loans. Those are fixed number of payments over a period of time for three years, five years, six years, installment loans, right? So if no one don't have any revolving credit cards, you're not gonna have a good credit score. So sometimes you gotta let your clients know you gotta have a line of credit on your report to have a good credit score. So when you talk to clients, let them know, hey, look, do you have any positive credit reporting? If the answer is no, hey, look, well, I recommend that you get a positive trade line on your report, such as a credit card. We offer a secure credit card. This can help you establish positive credit history. Okay, that's very important because for example, I had a client, she had uh, you know one collection account, one medical bill, she had a 500 credit score. We took off that collection account, she still was at a 550. Why was that? Not that we didn't do our job, but she didn't have no positive credit reporting. So I say, hey, look, you need a secure credit card. She applied for it. She put $2,000 down on a secure credit card. Within 30 days of reporting, she went to a 750. She was excited. It's like, man, not only that she took this negative item off, but you educated me the right way of what I needed to do. You understand? So you want to be able to educate clients in that manner. So this is very important that clients have positive credit reporting and to keep the balances low, 30% of the credit limit. 35% is payment history. Now the other 15% of the credit score is length of credit history, right? How long they had credit for? They've had credit cards for five years, 10 years, that's 10 years of credit history, right? The older the history, the better credit score will be. For the ladies that love to drink wine, right? The older the wine it is, the better tasting that that wine is. Same thing with your credit. The longer that you have credit history for, the better your credit score would be because length of credit pays a part. And hold on, you have a credit card for 10 years, that shows up on your credit, now you can be trusted, right? So that's the other part of it. So you talk to the client, say, I'm going to pay off this credit card. I want to close it. No, maintain your credit cards that you have actively open because you're going to lose your credit history and I'll decrease your credit score. So never close out any credit cards accounts you have because you have the credit history. That's why my clients that use it for gas or groceries, pay it off because you want to maintain that history on your credit report. Because um, I had a client do that, they score a drop. Boop. So you don't want to do that. Types of credit, I just went over that. 10% installment loans. And it's, this kind of just wants you to show a mixture of can you balance credit cards and can you balance the installment loans, like a car payment and student loans, things like that. Um, that's 10% of your credit. And then the other 10% is how many, uh, how much new credit is uh, is new. So if you're applying for a lot of credit cards, things like that, or you get new credit cards over a period of time, um, it increases as well. So you don't want to rack up a whole bunch of increase because impact your score by 10%. Um, so just let your clients know that don't apply for a lot of different things as you're going through the process. So you don't want to get denied and just rack up a whole bunch of credit increase for no reason. Okay. Um, but these are the major components, like the major thing that people got to master and what people hurt people credit score is that the payment history, they got collection accounts, late payments. It falls into this category. You feel me? So you want to make sure they're out of that category. Um, you have one moment. If, if you guys get a lot of value from this, let me know. Value, if you guys get value, talk value in the chat. If it's educating you, you guys get a lot of value from it. Let me know. Yes, but Keith. Yes, I am. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Keep it coming. Let's perfect, perfect. So now I want to kind of yeah. talk about, um, I want to talk about the trade lines that we offer. So, so trade lines that we offer, sometimes people say, hey, do you sell trade lines? No. 
no sell trade like, like authorized users we don't do that um it's like you piggyback off someone's credit card and they add you authorized users we don't do that we have a set up one people primary account so the credit amount of rent that's something that we offer i'm going to show you where that's located at and then a secure credit card um i'm going to show you guys that as well too um secure credit card those are two primary accounts that shows in our personal credit report that helps them build up positive history because again it's not just removing negative items you have to add positive history credit to your report as well too the other thing i offer to my clients outside of this is fingerhut.com um the reason why i like fingerhut because it shows up as a line of credit typically they'll give people approval on this they would approve people on this um and it's free for them to apply and they help my client a lot like for example one of our agents jennifer she reached out to me and that's why she kind of got on board with me because I educated her about credit. She didn't even need, she didn't have no collection accounts, nothing. But I educated her on what she needs to do. She's like, man, my credit score is this, it's not going up. I pay my car on time. I see you got any credit card. She's like, no, I can't get denied every time I apply. I said, you need to do two things. You need to secure a credit card and you need to get a, a line of credit. So I said, go to fingerhut.com and apply. She applied. She said, I got approved for $500. Line of credit. I'm like, all right, bet. Within three weeks, her score jumped up to like a 680. From like a 600 to a 680. Then she got a secure credit card. Now she's in the 700s. And this was like sometime last year. Because of that, this year she signed up as an agent with me. You know what I'm saying? All because I kind of educate her about credit. So just by educating people, not being like, dang, you, you know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I, I want to go ahead and rock with you. So it's really important. But I just like to use Finger Hut. There's a lot of different things, but this is simple. I tell you, you can just buy some stuff, pay it off, buy some stuff, pay it off. You just want to use it to build up your credit history. And it shows up as a line of credit that falls into the 35% of um, it falls into the 35% of, it falls into the 30% of the credit history, right? Of the credit utilization. So I like to have people use that. So it shows up right there. Hold on. Okay. So it shows up right there uh, on the 30% of the credit utilization. You know what I'm saying? Um, it shows up right there. So that's very important. Remember, those are the two major components. 35% is payment history. 30% is credit utilization. Those are the two major components. You know what I'm saying? So you want to factor in those two things that's there. Um, so I'm going to go over this. I'm sure you sure what it looked like. It's apply. Usually they show them on the spot. Hey, look, you approved for, you know, 200, 500, 1,000, whatever they get approved for. Um, I even use this because I just want to have more lines on my credit so I can have good credit. Um, that's it. You know, and those are the two things that will really kind of help your clients really build credit. So always ask your clients. Do you have any positive credit reporting? Do you have any open credit cards? The answer is no. Now you can offer them this to help them build their credit. Now they're going to see an increase even before some negative items come off. So always offer credit my rent, the secure credit card program, right? This will help you help your clients get good credit so they can get closer to buying the house and getting a car, what they want to do. And this will help you on the back end as well, too. Um, I had a lot of clients that offer to credit my rent. They got a great score increase, the secure credit card, um, phenomenal. Um, program off this is my clients that got a great score increase as well too um so very very important last thing i want to kind of go over we've got a webinar tonight at 9 p.m so if you want to invite your guests and prospects um invite them on here so that we can get the information because we're going to be going over the protection plan and then also the business opportunity so you want to get your guests on this call tonight um again like i'm going to kind of break down some stuff a lot of it just is saving yourself time energy and money so if you get, get 10 people on this call, like you can save yourself from talking to 10 people all at once. So that's what I do to get people in front of information. You know what I'm saying? And now they can see how everything works, right? And now people are visual. So I always invite my prospects and this is a great way to move yourself out of the way. A lot of some of what you guys are doing, doing all the talking yourself, you don't want to do that. Like I, even for my guests and prospects, usually I get them in front of information. Like I only try to sell them on the phone or whatever the case may be. So highly encourage you guys to invite all your guests and by 8 p.m. tonight, whoever drops all their trial runs, like I said, whoever had the most people post for them, you guys will get a hundred dollars cash out. So um, definitely, I know Shamara and Rodney did a rocking this thing out and you guys having a lot of people post for you, um, which is great. So definitely excited. You guys have them to 8 p.m. So you guys still have time. You guys still have time uh, to get that done. So let me go over this with you guys here. I'm gonna go over the protection plan so you guys can understand the protection plan. So it's two parts of stuff that we offer. So we have the protection plan um, and we have uh, the myfps.net. This is the business online office, okay? So the, how many people activated the credit services here? How many people activated the credit services? How many people activated it, the credit services for yourself? Uh, 
Let me I activate did. credit services. How many? How many? I, I did activate it. Activated my services. I don't have anything negative or any or on any, um, nothing. Like I don't have anything negative. I just need to build more history, I guess. Perfect, perfect. We got the tools to help you do that. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Who was uh started their credit services? I'm well, I'm starting it. I just have to send in my paperwork. Okay, perfect. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. Um, and you know, That's you guys want to start it so you guys could be a product of a product. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just, hey, let me just try to sell this or offer to people. You want to use the services so you can become familiar how the process work. Um, so that way you're a product of the product. You're going to get the results yourself. You can walk your clients through everything, you know? Um, so right. definitely want to activate the services. If you guys need help with credit, go through it. Even if you don't need help with credit, go through the, the different tools and different things so you can explain to your client. So now I'm going to kind of cover the protection plan. Um, so you guys, um, I'm going to go over this and kind of show you the inside look of everything. So I want to go over what's included, okay? So the protection plan is 12 services. They added some more stuff to it. I will show you guys. But remember, we're not just a credit restoration company. We're a financial literacy company. So when you educate your clients in that manner, you let them know, look, we don't just offer credit. You know what I'm saying? We give you the whole nine yards. We've been doing this for 17 years, right? When people see this, like, man, it's a lot of value. We give every client a dashboard, right? So when people see this, they see the credibility, like, man, I'm in because most people come from a, a, a previous company they didn't give them a tracking system like this. People did it from home. I'm saying like a mom and pop shop style. Like, man, I didn't get this type of, you know, communication and a dashboard. So when you explain this to your clients, like, man, this is legit, this is professional, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? When I get on the phone with a client, if I have them look at this website, ain't no reason they're going to sign up. The only reason I don't sign up, don't have the money today. That's it. Besides that, they see the website and I'm walking through how we can help them with their credit, help them with their overall finances, help them protect their credit, help them build wealth. They say, man, I'm, I'm in. No reason, no reason why. Only reason why I don't sign up is they don't have the money today. And that's fine. I said, look, when do you get paid? I get paid Friday. Okay, let's get you set up Friday. Because when people see this, this is lit. So what I usually do is I let them know, yeah, go to UCES, that P, uh, ucespp.net and I'm going to walk you through the services we offer. Hey, when you first go on this website, we give you a login tab. You can log in with your username and password. Start the process. You'll be able to track everything with your dashboard. This is what we give you included with our services. We give you a budgeting tool. This helps the clients budget their overall finances. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Why do you think most people um, have stuff that goes into collections, right? Because they don't pay it on time. hundred percent. Why do you think they don't pay it on time? They don't have the funds. They don't have the they funds. Don't have and some people do have the funds. They probably they don't have the wasn't educated. They wasn't educated, they didn't know. And they didn't budget properly, right? They probably had more money coming out than they did. So this is why we give them a budgeting tool, right? To be able to budget their overall. They didn't budget finances. properly. Yeah, to be able to budget audit overall budget their finances, right? So we give them a budgeting tool to be able to budget their finances as well, right? So that way now they can create positive habits because that's all it is. People have bad habits, right? Not saying we're perfect. We all have stuff that happens, but we can change those habits. You know what I'm saying? So now we help them start tracking their spending. Credit restoration. This is what we use. I don't know why I did that. Um, so credit restoration, this is what they use to be able to help them reestablish good credit again. So what we do with the credit restoration, so you guys can understand, is we leverage a law which is called the Fair Credit Reporting Act. This allows us to legally dispute any derogatory items, late payments, charge of accounts, bankruptcies, to get these items off legally within 45 to 90 days, right? This is the uh, law that we leverage. Right, so you wanna educate your clients. So some people are like, man, what is the Fair Credit Reporting Act? You call this the FCRA for an acronym. This was passed in Congress in 1970. You guys can research this. If you type in Fair Credit Reporting Act, just to give you the, the statutes and the law, right? So this is a law that we leverage to get credit cleaned up. So when people say, hey, is credit illegal? Was it a scam? It's like, no, it's a law that's credit. People say, hey, is credit repair illegal? Is it a scam? I'm like, no, everyone, you could do credit repair. It's a law that they passed in 1970. Credit been around for years. Right, I mean, a law passed in 1970 for FCRA because people was getting taken advantage of back in the day. So the credit is law that any client could do a dispute process that how these items verified, these items that's on any credit, if it's not verified by law, it had to come off the credit. If the balance is incorrect, it has to come off the credit. What can we address on people credit report? Late payments, charge of accounts, bankruptcies, evictions, um, medical bills, bankruptcies. We can address these items off these people credit report, right? Just by leveraging this law. Very important. So this law protects all consumers like you and myself. 
So when you educate your client, like, man, this person, like, man, you sound, you know what you're talking about. Okay, you know what? This makes sense. I'm in. So when you break it down to your client like that, it makes sense. It's the law that we leverage, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. In the script that I gave you guys, it includes that law in there so that when we talk to your clients, you're educating them about the law and statutes that we use to help them remove these negative items, right? So this is the law that we leverage to get the client credit cleaned up. So now the timeline for people to get results is 45. The, 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 the process, the timeline for clients to typically see results is 45, 90 days, okay? I recommend all your clients to stay on a program for at least four to six months. We have a new a program launched. We gave over $100,000 away last Saturday um, for our, our training. The company's still giving away money. For any clients or agents, they're gonna be giving money to them as well. So clients that stay on the program for eight months or longer, they're gonna be giving them, they, they're gonna be choosing random customers to give them you know, money. And the reason why is to kind of let them know that credit repair is a process, right? I have some clients that get results in 30 days. I got some clients that got results in 90 days, right? The timeline is different for everybody. But you want to make sure that you don't get suckered in to trying to tell your clients, yeah, 30 days, you're going to get, you know, good results, right? Just so you could try to get a sale and just so you get to sound good for that person. Because some people appreciate the truth. Then you lying to them. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. So be real with them. Let them know credit card takes time. I was speaking to a client yesterday. Um, they don't speak to her yesterday. I was like, look, credit card take, take time. And some clients, you got to educate them. Kind of client, literally, she signed up. She hasn't been a program for two weeks. Two weeks, it's like, yeah, any results yet? I'm like, you've been on a program for two weeks. What do you, what do you mean? You just sent your letters out like two, a week ago. Like, what do you mean like two weeks? So sometimes you got to educate them and let them know that, hey, look, it takes time. It's not going to be two weeks you get on a program. So I let them know that, look, it takes time to get results. 45 to 90 days, you're going to see results. But we recommend stay on a program for at least four to six months. This we're going to see the significant improvement in your credit. Once you hear that, I mean, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna be on a program, whatever you tell them. So always be straight up with them. Let them know it takes time. If you get results sooner, great. We have some clients got results in 34 days, as you can see here. 34 days, her credit score improved 100 points. That's great, but we all gotta give worst case scenario because everyone credit case is different. We can take off any negative item. This is a collection accounts we took it off. I just posted in a group that someone had a collection account that was in child support. We took it off that person's credit report within 60 days. So the timeline is different to everyone, but we get results. You just got to educate them. Our company even be featured on Steve Barber TV show. So you want to talk to your clients with posture and confidence, knowing the results that we got people in the past, knowing the results that you're seeing is getting people today, right? So these are the results that we're able to get clients and prospects that, that's on our program to get them the results that they're looking for. So we get them all type of results. Another client results, we took out bankruptcy. So when people say, yeah, can you take out bankruptcy? Yes, we can. The time is different. So you want to let them know, hey, look, you want to be on a program for at least six months to make sure we get everything cleaned up, right? Medical bills we could take off. Student loans that's in collections, we could address student loans that's in collection. You can see this is Sally Mae, but the only thing is they still are responsible for the debt for student loans. That's federal. Could take it off the credit report, but they're still responsible for the debt, right? So that will help them get approved for a car in the house, but they still have to pay that debt. It's going to be off the credit, not reflecting these uh, uh, student loan collections, okay? Um, and kind of educate you guys about collection accounts. Collection accounts are third-party companies. They're not the original creditor. You understand? So typically when it comes to student loan collections, those are the original creditors, right? They put it as a collection. But most collection accounts, they're not from the original company. For example, let's say it's a T-Mobile account and went to collections, I didn't pay my phone bill and went to collections from T-Mobile. That's not T-Mobile, that's a collection account from a third party company, right? And then they also have statutes from out of time that they can actually sue a person, right? Um, every state is different. I think Florida is like three years. So let's say it have been on their credit for like five years a company cannot sue that client. We don't represent any legal because that's legal. We only focus on credit. But they can. Most people are like, man, okay, what, well, man? Can I, you know, X, Y, and Z? This collection can I get removed? Yes, can be removed. We're going to dispute these items for you. You understand? Um, we're going to dispute these items for you, right? So that's very, very um, key that you know you just educate your clients on what we can remove off the credit. We can remove anything. Anything that's negative could be removed. Anything it could be addressed. The timeline is different. The one item that do take time to get removed is gonna be late payments because those accounts usually are open accounts and those usually take time to remove off that person credit report. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's something that you wanna let your clients know that um, late payments do take time. You know, uh, My wife had late payments on credit. It took about like three, four months for it to come off. 
Um, but it takes time, but we do get late payments addressed. And there's another thing I'm gonna show you guys that we can have our clients use um, for clients for late payments. They can also use this called a goodwill letter. They can send to their, uh, their creditor, okay? Um, I'm gonna go back to the protection plan. That's really, 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 really key. Um, like I said, I want to go more in depth to this so you guys can understand. Take time to read this as well, too. Don't just say, hey, I hop in one training. I you know everything because you're not going to retain everything I, I talk about. You're probably going to retain only 10% of it, right? Um, but any questions you have, save it towards the end. I'm going to do a q and I answer your questions. Um, so this is the credit course calculation. I kind of went over this with you. So we do educate our clients on how the credit score is calculated. We let them know how they can also build their credit, give them tips and advice. Um, they have access to our credit attorneys. Credit attorneys only step in for any debt harassment if they're being harassed by debt collectors and credit report errors. For example, for merge information that don't belong to them. They'll step in for that. Identity theft cases, um, item that has been paid on time but reported is late, uh, items that been on their credit for more than seven years and not didn't come off, they could get sued for that, right? The credit, bureau, the credit attorneys will step in. That's included with the membership. They don't have to pay for their attorney representation. So when people hear that we got partnerships with attorneys, that they want to get, they want to get on board. We're not some small company. You've been doing it for 17 years. We already helped over a million clients get excellent credit, right? So when clients see this and hear this, they feel more confident and secure that they're dealing with a professional company. Uh, credit monitoring. They have credit monitoring with um, smart credit. Smart credit shows a vantage score, but they will see the negative items that came off the report with the credit monitoring and then also if any new items came on their credit. So the smart credit is here, right? Um, they get credit monitoring included because I had some clients say, yeah, I had to pay another company now I paid a company for credit repair, but then I had to get paid for a credit monitoring service so they could log in to address my item. I said, that's crazy. You got to double pay. With us, it's included in the services. We don't want to put a credit and we give you credit monitoring and track the progress. So you can stay up to date with the credit process. Debt payoff, we help you pay off your debt strategically, any current debt that you have, right? That's included with the program, identity monitoring. Clients get up to a million dollars in identity theft protection insurance if they all fall victim to identity theft. You know what I'm saying? So that's included with the services as well, too. Identity theft. Um, so you want to let them know, look, you get this included. So when someone come at you and be like, yeah, is this a scam? Like, I just let them know, like, you got to have posture. Like, I'm like, what do you mean, like, a scam? Like, we give you free identity money. Like, what are we going to scam from you? You understand? And then sometimes you got to educate your clients. Right? And there's a lot of stuff that go out there, but you got to just always, you know, just be confident. You understand? And let them know, you know, what we scam from you. We're here to help you restore your credit. What do you mean? Right? Um, so once you kind of educate them in that manner, they feel more comfortable. Uh, life insurance, clients get free life insurance up to a hundred thousand. Um, right. So not clients, agents get free life insurance up to a hundred thousand. So like you and me, we get free life insurance up to hundred K. Right. Um, this is something that you get as well too. So all agents, you have access to life insurance. You want to make sure you activate it. It's free. You got to pay for it. Um, some of our agents, unfortunately did pass away and the company paid out on it. So this is only for agents only. It's through uh, Symmetra. Um, it's a term life policy and it goes up to 100,000. So every three months you're with us, it increases about 25,000 all the way up to 100K. So within your first three months with us that you're active, you begin to get actually 30,000 and then increases all the way up to 100,000. Financial Lockbox, you can upload important documents to a virtual cloud, like social, like social security card, different things like that. So you can upload it. So that was protected just in case you lose your items, you have an upload to a virtual cloud. That's included as well. Um, net worth, we can calculate net worth. You don't have to be like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos to have a net worth. You all got net worth, right? It was all based on the assets and liabilities. This is included as well. Clients can calculate their net worth because as people begin to buy assets, they're buying homes, they're getting businesses, right? They're building up their net worth. Savings go, they can save towards the goal to buy a house. This included with the services. My care plan, this includes the will, trust, power attorney. Included. This is valid because when you're paying an attorney, you're paying at least two thousand dollars to get the stuff done, a will and trust, right? And, and in my household, we didn't talk about getting a will and trust. You know what I'm saying? This is key. This is what the wealthy people have. So now we're giving people access to this, regardless of your income level. You can protect your family, you can protect your kids. So when you educate your clients, you're not mad about the protection plan. They in. This is included. You don't have to pay extra for none of the service I just went over with you. The Wild for Family Men. This is our uh, nonprofit organization where we educate the youth on personal finance from ages eight to eighteen. You understand? Um, uh, they has a cli uh, clients can have their, their, their kids use this program, the digital program, to educate the kids about money, money management early at a young age, right? And we have a nonprofit scholarship program where we uh, give back to kids. Uh, a month ago, we gave over $600,000 in scholarship money to high school students and freshmen in college. 
So $2 out of the protection plan membership goes to this nonprofit organization, right? And we give out scholarship money every year. So you just gotta educate your clients. You just gotta kind of know, and when you're able to educate your clients, like you're gonna feel more comfortable. So this is the inside look of everything. So as you guys are agents, um, you guys have uh, where you can enroll a client. Uh, these are three different price points. You have 188, where you get $100 that will pay you. Uh, 89 plus 49, um, 89 plus 49, you'll get $50 that will pay you in commission. So you got three, three different price points. The last option is 89 plus zero. You don't get nothing paid up front, but we still give you $12 residual income, okay? Um, so the first option is 89 plus 99, which is 188, $89 a month. You get paid $100. And I just round these last numbers off to make this easy. 89 plus 49, round it off is 50, $50 in commission. Then the last option is 89 plus zero. You don't get nothing up front, but we still pay you $12 residual every month. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's there, right? Um, so if I click this option, you're gonna see that is an application that I pull up and I'll be able to complete for a client, then get them enrolled, I hit submit, it processes, that client will get an email. Um, I will get an email, all that client has to do is activate your services and we'll begin the process. Very simple process. You don't have to put that client credit, our corporate do all of that, They'll send out to the say client so we can begin the process of getting credit restored, okay? Um, so now these are all the services that kind of went over that they have access to. The budgeting tool, they can create a budget within a program. Um, and then identity monitoring, they can activate that identity monitoring to protect their credit as well. Um, this is included with the services. Uh, net worth, they can calculate your net worth. They create a will and trust, the savings goals, all this included while they're getting credit fixed. The very first thing about how your clients do is do the credit restoration. The credit restoration, um, this explains step-by-step -step process. Obviously, since I've been with the program, usually a new client will have them verify the information and pull their credit report. So we can start the process. We gotta have permission to pull their credit. It's illegal to pull their credit without the permission. So that's why the clients have to activate the services and we'll start the process then. Once they log in, it will prompt them to do that. They'll verify the information and they'll hit pull credit report. We'll pull the report, start the process. Then we'll ask them two questions. This is very important. We will ask them, do you want us to email you the dispute letters or do you want us to mail it to you in the mail? We'll email them a PDF option in a dashboard, right? Um, the dashboard, when you log in here, they, have access, they hit access UCES account in their dashboard and they'll go to PDF dispute. Once they get that email saying that it's there, the password is gonna be the last four of their social. We put that in the email, but obviously some clients may not read the email we send them, let them know that your password is gonna be last four of the social to open up your letters. Right, but it's there. It's there for 14 days, um, so they'll be able to print the letters and send it off. Right, and then you can write down this number, and someone can put this number in the chat. One of the leaders um, for our custom service. So if you have a client have any questions or anything like that, they can always call our custom service, 248-848-9065. Someone put that number in the chat, so that way you should have it. Save it in your phone. I have it saved in my phone, so if I ever had to call custom service for anything, I could be able to call them. All right, so just um, so just um, put that number in the chat for me so everyone can have it. One of the leaders could do that, so that way we can have that number um, in the chat. All right, let me put that number in the chat for you guys. So two four eight eight four eight nine zero six five. Boom. So it's there. Boom, so this is where they go. They'll print the letters, send them off, and then we'll explain under this, I'm standing in the speak letters. I will read this too. Take time to read this information so you can learn. Because you may get some questions, you can answer really quick for them. Some client are gonna hit you up and be like, hey, look, um, when it comes to my dispute letters and what they say, um, some of them saying it's not my account, um, this is actually mine, um, things like that. So when we're doing the speed process, we got to use certain verbiage to get the credit bureaus to start the verification process of the, of the collection accounts. So going to, these letters, first of all, is going to say, these are not my accounts. You got to verify under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. That's the verbiage to get them to verify these items. They have to verify the accuracy, the, you know, every item on there. It was not, it has to be off the credit report 
on the FCRA it has to come off the credit report. There's a lot of errors that's on there. It has to come off, right? So, you know, it's a lot of different reasons on how we could get it off the report by any uh, errors, incorrect names, incorrect balances, you know, um, any, we could get it off the report leveraging this law based on going through the verification process. So these are verbs that we're using, right? Um, so these, this is the verbs that we're using when we're disputing these items from the client, actually, hey, look, I, I need to understand my dispute letters. We give them all the answers to everything, right? Frequently asked questions. That's here. Obviously, the client may not read this and may not know, but these are going to be some of the questions that they ask. Okay. Um, so that's why that verbiage is used. Hey, these are not my accounts. To get the credit bureaus to start the investigation on the accuracy of these items. That's the verbiage to use to get them to start. Okay. So your client may actually let you know, don't panic. It's not against the law. We're leveraging it, the law itself actually to build your credit on leveraging the fair credit reporting acts. Okay. Credit education. Educate yourself on this as well, too. Um, you read up on this as well. So we educate on everything. We educate you what, how to use money, what is public records, um, establishing positive credit history, tips and advice, maintaining good credit, reason why you may get denied for stuff, becoming authorized user. We educate on everything. Guys, we educate on everything, right? Um, so like I said, we're not just a credit restoration company. We're educating clients as well too. Some clients, again, is not going to read this. So I'm just like, hey, look, I just, you know, I'm not going to read it. But as I, I just kind of give them the major things, which is adding positive credit, keeping your balance on your credit cards and us taking off your negative accounts. Um, so that's the credit restoration part. Credit builder, we have some stuff that we give them tips and advice. They can take like a quiz, things like that about credit as well too. Um, they'll be able to activate all these services. For you guys, if you guys are a new agent, make sure you activate life insurance for the beneficiary form, get that filled out. And part of our contest that we do in the future, like usually we do uh, cruises, the company takes us on a cruise for the top, I think top 100 performers in the company. Part of the contest is you got to activate all the services. If you don't activate all the services, you're not going to be part of the contest to go on a cruise if you ever get selected, right? So just make sure you activate the services. Again, once you be a part of the product, once you be knowledgeable of what you offer, not just trying to sell people, but understand the services and everything like that. Um, so take time, read through all the services. We give them a roadmap to help them step by step of what they have to do to get their credit in position. Okay. Um, so one eighty-eight, eighty-nine dollars a month. It's pretty much the protection plan. So we just give so much value, right? So it's not just credit restoration. We give so much value when it comes to what we're doing, guys, within the services. So the other thing I want to talk about is show you guys the secure credit card. Show you guys the finger hut thing there. And then I'll do some Q&As and answer some questions for you guys. Um, so finger hut got apply. I may not even show mine because I already applied already. I already have an account with them. Okay, perfect. It's actually showing it. So this is all it is. So most people get approved. You know what I'm saying? So all they got to do is apply for this. And this will show up in a credit report within about three, four weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's like an online store. You can buy stuff, you know, different, like a catalog online. You can buy stuff, but this helps build credit. Um, there's one thing. This is a line of credit here. Remember, I told you 30% of the credit score calculation. This is the line of credit part here, right? Installment loans are fixed number of payments. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the, the secure credit card and things like that, right? So, when you go to your back office, you go to myfes.net and you log in, you go to products like this. And these are the two services I told you, the trade line to secure credit card. I will go to learn more. You can read upon the secure credit card. The minimum is 200 to put down. Um, I think it's like an application fee of $40. Um, yep, $44 right here. And we have the lowest interest rate, 11.9%. Again, only, there's a few states we don't do. Is the states right here. We don't do New York. We don't do Iowa, Arkansas, Wisconsin. We don't do, unfortunately. We do all the other states. Guarantee approval. It is based on the deposit they put down. I had a client apply for this last month. She got approved. She loaded her car with money. She's ecstatic. I gave her some, her some game. And she was like, man, like, I'm excited about the process. You know what I'm saying? Um, so now her credit is in the 700s now. So it is all about helping people. So some clients may not need the protection plan. Some clients may just need to add positive credit history. This is one of them. Okay. This is the revolving line of credit part of it. This is the credit card part of it. You gotta have credit cards. You gotta switch the fact that you need credit cards. You know what I'm saying? So if they have no credit cards, they're just taking out collections, they're never gonna hit a 700. They're never gonna hit an 800. You gotta have positive credit reporting. So that's the first part. And then you can use the other one as well, which is called um, the credit my rent. We could go back far as two years, apply this on the credit report. So go here, hit the learn more tab. It's something that you guys can learn more about. Read upon this as well too, right? Um, the biggest expense people pay is guess what they rent. So if someone get evicted, that may show up on the credit report. They get eviction on the credit. 
when people are paying rent on time, the leasing office or the place they're renting from, they're going to report the positive rental history. But if you use programs like this, they'll report that in this program, they can go back as far as two years and place those on your credit report. So these are the different pricing options. This typically gives clients a credit boost anywhere from like 50 to 100 points. This reports on Equifax and TransUnion, right? Um, so very, very important. Very, very important, right? Um, so there's something to offer to your clients. You should offer this to all your clients. Let them know can use your rental history. Can people pay rent on time? So like, yeah, I could do that. Yes. So offer this to your clients. You go to products. They're hitting row now. You can send them the link, application, copy the URL, copy that and have your name in it. And you can send it to a the client. They'll be able to apply, and get approved. Same thing with the secure credit card, right? You do the same thing. You copy the URL in the secure credit card. You hit enroll now, copy the URL, send it to that client. They'll be able to apply for it. Boom, right? This will help you build credit, rebuild it again, right? So very, very key, guys, that you offer to you have all the tools and services, you got to know. It's like weapons, like you go on the war, you got to know what weapons that you're using. You know what I'm saying? So these are the weapons that you guys can use. Um, so one last thing I want to kind of show you the protection plan. Another thing I was telling you about, um, we go to the credit builder tab. This is really good. When you go to forms and documents, we have different settlement letters that can settle for any collection account. We got um, debt validation letters. We have letters where they could do a goodwill letter. Let's say they're going through the process. They can also do a goodwill letter. Basically, they're saying, hey, look, I've been, I have a late payment, but I've been paying all my stuff on time. Are you willing to you know, allow me to get this item off my credit report? You understand? Um, this late payment off my credit report. I'm going to kind of show what a goodwill letter looked like. And we give this all to the client in that, that uh, portal system. So we're going to kind of show you what it looked like so you kind of get an idea what a goodwill letter looked like. I had a client use that and she got late payment off. Like I gave her the goodwill letter. Through COVID, she had some issues and she was able to get it off. Uh, let me show you an example. Because right. I think this has the verbiage. Let me show you guys the verbiage. You guys can see. Because if I download it, it's not going to. Uh, let me see. All right, perfect. So it's not going to, if I click it on the dashboard, I'm not going to show it because it's going to pull up in a Word document. So I just want to kind of show what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. When, we, when you go in the back office on the, the, here, the credit builder tab, and you go to Goodwill uh, letter, um, late payment removal request letter, this is it right here. When you click it, it will pull up a Word document form you can print out. Fill it out with your information. You change your name, the address, the account number. Um, you send it to that creditor. It's like Discover, Capital One, you send it to them, right? So thank you for taking the time to read this letter I'm writing because I noticed I had a late payment on my credit report. Um, I, had a financial, uh, I had financial issues. I fell behind on the payments, but now I have excellent repayment record now. I made a mistake, um, but I'm looking to apply for a house or car and it comes to my attention, I have a late payment. It could hurt me to qualify, right? Are you able to give me a chance to remove this off my credit report, right? They don't have to do it if they don't want to. They don't have to, but this helps. They will do it sometimes, okay? Um, we will dispute it as well. They have to verify um, the late payment, make sure it's accurate. They can't verify the late payment, they have to take it off. But I also recommend clients do the goodwill letter as well for late payments, because those late payments are on current accounts that are currently open. So we just got so many weapons here. So take time to read through this. We educate clients on what the check system is, how to maintain good credit, all these forms and documents that clients have access to within a dashboard and portal system that we give them about credit, you know what I'm saying? Um, as well that they have, as well within a program um, that a client will receive um, with their documents that they have too. So this is really key uh, as well um, when it comes to everything. So last thing, let me show you guys, let me kind of go over script. I'll send these guys, the script to you guys. If you guys don't have it, I'll show you guys the script. This script I use over the phone. Let me see, okay, there we go. Custom script I use over the phone. Um, so we've got, let me share my screen here. And then from there, I'll just take some Q and A. So these are some scripts that you guys can use when we talk to a client. Um, for example, you guys see the script. I put everything to notes on my phone. I like having Apple products, no, no, no shots to Android users. But I like to have Apple products because anything I put on my phone shows up on my computer. Um, and I have notes all the way dating back to 2017. So I just put everything in my notes. Let's say I'm doing a call. If I need a review, I can review this during the call. So this script goes over everything and says, look, when's the last time you pulled your credit? What's your current credit score? Um, do you know if anything between LinkedIn reporting, like collection late payments, wait for the answer to say yes, 
Okay, the reason why I ask is because our company, United Credit Education Services, can get these negative items off your credit report. We leverage the Fair Credit Reporting Act, right? It passed by Congress, allows us to dispute any derogatory items, bankruptcies, late payments, repossessions, foreclosures. The turnaround time, usually 45, 90 days. You recommend staying on the program for at least four to six months because every credit case is different, right? You'll give your own portal system to track everything. Um, let's go ahead and get everything started for you today. This is the information that you need. Now, they say they don't have the money, they don't have the funds. Look, we don't need to take payment today. You can do a pre-application and we're gonna process it on the day you get paid, whether it's Friday or next week. Boom. So I'm telling you, this script here works wonders, right? Usually when I get information, I never ask for the person's social first because they guard would get up. Even though the application sold their social first, I always ask for their name, address, phone number, and ask for the social last. You know what I'm saying? Because they kind of guard get down. So I always ask them what's your name, your address, phone number, and ask for social first. Because again, it's all mindset, psychological. You know, there's just people mindset like, oh man, social. But yes, for their name, address, phone number, now they begin to get comfortable. And I always ask for the social last, and they give it to me. So that's, that's the script there. Um, so now, you know, I just want to open up the floor for any Q&A about anything I kind of went over with you guys. Um, like I said, I just want to kind of go more in depth about the protection plan and services. So that way you guys become more knowledgeable, more confident and knowing what you guys are talking about. Obviously, you're not going to learn everything overnight. The more you practice, the more you become better. So any questions that you guys have? Any questions? Uh, I, don't, I don't have yeah. any questions. <laughs> Um, excuse me, I, I apologize, Chris. I just I wanted to um just congratulate my new agent, Chris Roper, for signing on, and I'm and I appreciate him seeing him right here. He's on the webinar, he's on the Zoom with us tonight. Wow, he's studying and learning. I know he's gonna do really, really well with this program. And again, I just want to congratulate him. You know, welcome to the team, Chris. Welcome you to know. the team, Chris. Absolutely. <laughs> welcome to the team, welcome. Chris. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, well, it's Chris. good to be here. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to the team, Chris. Um, and that shows your initiative, man. You hop on the and learn this information. Welcome, Chris. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family, Chris. Welcome to the family, Chris. We the, we, we the dream. We are the, we are the dream team for real, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we come from the best baseball in the world. Puerto mm -hmm. Ricans in the north and I have uh, a Dominicans in the west. That's right. Yes. That's right, bro. Congratulations. Thanks. I have another new agent. Her name is um, Tanya Lewis, and I want to say congratulations to her as well. Congratulations, she, Tanya Lewis. I'm Tanya. You Tanya. Tanya. Welcome to the family. Welcome, Tanya. <laughs> congratulations, Welcome. Tanya. We see you, girl. We see you. We like your braids too. Your braids look really nice, girl. We see you, Miss Lewis. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Let, I'm telling you, yo, know, this is an amazing thing we got going on here. And we help it be. That's it. That's it. We have another one. We have Nori. I don't know if Nori, I can't see right now. My eyes is really bad. I don't have my glasses, but. I know I made sure she was on the Zoom. Congratulations to her as well, new agent. Congratulations, Nori. Congratulations, Nori. Yes, there she go. Welcome to the team, boo. Yes, yes. And congratulations, Eugene. Thank you for everything. He's the best moment so that you can have. <laughs> yes, thank you, Eugene. Thank you so yeah, much. Facts, true facts, true facts. No doubt, no doubt man. Uh, well, yeah, man, I'm excited, man. Welcome to new agents, new team. And as you guys can see, we're like a family here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to make sure everyone went and level up and, and give you guys the game and you know, show you the ropes and you to help. You know what I'm saying? So it's one big family. Um, you know, don't take anything for granted. If you got any questions about anything, reach out. You know, reach out to your mentor, reach out to us. We got you. Um, so any questions, I want to open up the floor for any questions about the protection plan, about the services that you, you know, you guys want to ask. Question here. This Go ahead. is Chris. Over. Chris. Uh, as I was putting in the chat, yeah, I've, I've been through this, through experience, the hard way. And uh, everything here seems like it's concise and it's done. 
my question is, is um, are we a coach all the way through or does corporate guide them all the way through? Do we walk them through this holding their hand? That's a great question. Um, so with that process, like the client we had their own dashboard. So us as a consultant, we won't have to be the one doing the work, right? So our, our corporate would do everything. So they get a dashboard set up like this. Um, we'll onboard the clients, right, with everything, but our corporate take care of everything else. So that client say, hey, look, Chris, I got a question about this. You can answer the question. Also, we have customer service Monday through Friday to be there, right? Um, a call center to be there to guide them through everything. But the process is really simple. You have about 10% of clients that may ask questions. Most clients, like, they understand the process because we give them step-by-step -step of what's going on. Because with the process, with the clean up the credit is, what we got to do is report a report, analyze it, right? Um, and then we're going to send it to the clients, right? They're going to receive the dispute letters, they review it, and they got to sign a medal to the credit bureaus because they have to dispute manually to the credit bureaus. Then we wait 45 days to hear back from credit bureaus, and that's the process. The clients will send us the results, we'll update it, send it back to the credit bureaus again. Um, but we notify the client via email. So our back end team will email the client, uh, following up, making sure they send off the dispute letters. Um, if they got any results, they send it back to us. Um, so we give them all the instructions on exactly what to do. Um, so I have a thing where some clients may ask questions. You might have some clients, you know, you may have to kind of guide a little bit more. But most clients, like, to be honest with you, like, they kind of understand everything. And most clients are like tech savvy now just because everything dealing with technology and how we already got everything simplified for them. So you ask your questions. We're the consultants. We onboard them. Um, but our back-end team do everything. We're pulling the credit, doing the dispute letters, um, sending them follow-up emails. We're doing everything, handling the retention. Our back-end team do all of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, awesome, awesome. But I'm excited again to have you on the team, Chris. I've been hearing some great things about you. And you work with one of the best men. Allen, bro, like, now I only knew him for about three weeks, man. He got involved, put his head down, and I talked to a lot of people. People like, yeah, I'm going to kill this business. I'm going to help a lot of people. They come in, they, just, they don't really help people like that. You know, and he got involved and really was focused on helping people, man. First first day in, man, he, he enrolled a couple of clients. I'm like, man, like, bro, you focus on, man, I got to help people. And, you know, I know a lot of people that need to help with the services. So you definitely got great mentorship and great leadership on the island, bro. So I'm excited for you, Chris. Yeah, I'm excited as well. I'm, I'm glad to have Chris. You know, I'm, <laughs> you know how I get, I get emotional. You know what I'm saying? I, I get, I get charged up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to stay calm right now, but I'm feeling really, really good. And I got a, I got a, a good, good feeling about you, Chris. I'm telling you, like, I know <laughs> we're going to win, man. We're going to win and we're helping people. So that's, that's the best part about it. Yes, we really, have, but we want to get, we're going we gonna to get rich in the process. <laughs> In five years, I'm saying, Chris, me and you, we're going to do it probably within three. Where we don't have to work no more ever. We're going to be good. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Any other sure. questions for anyone? Any other questions? Questions, questions, questions. About the protection plan, about anything. Ask your questions now. <laughs> so that way you can get your questions answered. Um, I know I cover a lot, but that way you know exactly about it. You can continue to play with it, understand it, click every tab. But any question that you guys have about the process, about the protection plan, about the services that you guys want to ask? Some people, some people ask me about child support. Now, some people, if they, if they got to pay child support, they got to pay child support. We all know that. Yeah. Some people, some people owe arrears. And they're not actually on child support anymore, but they, just, they may just owe arrears. Some people have been out of work for... X amount of years or whatever the case may be. And some of the arrears need to be readjusted, whatever the case may be. So how does that process work with under our program? Can we really help people with that? Um, with the arrears? No, so we don't mess with the arrears. We don't even uh, work on a collection. Hold on, Mr. Humphrey. So we want to work on a collection account credit. Yeah, hold on one second, Mr. Humphrey. Hold but it's 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 it, if it's on somebody's credit report, how can we how can we help them? to get it off the credit report, especially if they're making payments. Yeah, we can dispute it. Okay. Now, like say, not, like some people, they, they take money directly out of their, uh, out of their paychecks. Paycheck. Yeah, we can dispute the item off the credit report. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that'll work. So I, I can let my the bill. Um, they still have to pay, but 
but we can get it. I want to, I want to, I want to assure my clients that we can get them to take it off the credit report as long as they take it, no matter how much it is in arrears, as long as it's something that's being paid towards it every week. Yeah, yeah, and not, yeah, yeah. We can take it off. I actually, okay. Even not, man. I had a, a client. Uh, she was actually an attorney. It's funny because she make a lot of money. She's an attorney. She made like man, maybe like a thousand two hundred grand. So she was on child support at one point in her life. Um, a lady. Wow. And she got on, she had like a 700 credit score. You know, she had credit cards and all that, but she just wanted to take off the child support. She was on a program, we took it off for of credit. You know? So, mm. Yeah, we took off child support off credit for it. But she still had to pay, they still had to pay the debt. She still had to pay the debt, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, it makes sense, right? When you think about it, it's just helping you to be able to still do what you need to do, opposed to your child support that you gotta pay holding you back being on your credit report makes so right. much sense okay good good i can give i can give my clients reassurance perfect perfect any anyone okay. have a question um i have a question people have been asking me about if they can join the um join the group if they have if they've been in their apartment for six to eight months but they have good credit could they still join I'm gonna be right with you, Mr. Humphrey. I'm waiting. Somebody's asking a question. Give me one second. I'm just gonna get this answered for you right now. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna answer your question, Latanya. Uh, let me just answer this young lady question. So yeah, let's do a call with them. I would like to ask more questions to figure out exact situation for me, um, on what they're trying to get done. So we do a call with them. Once we're done here, I'm gonna give you a call. Go ahead and knock that out. Okay. We'll knock that out. So I go ahead and call you right after this. And I'm glad, man, this is your first day in. Like, guys, like, this is her first day in. This young lady, ha man, she got, like, 50 comments. You know what I'm saying? And first day in, and now she got people to help. Um, and now you're on training, man. So I'm definitely excited for you, man. And just like I told you, man, like, a lot of people are winning here. And the biggest thing is helping people. You know, I told you, like, man, a lot of people out there really need to help. I know you asked me, man, I don't know if people need help with credit. I said, nah, everybody want good credit. You know what I'm saying? And now you have a way to provide a solution for people, right? And then now you could build wealth at the same time and accomplish your goals and dreams. So I'm definitely excited for you um, again. So I'm going to take uh, Latanya's question. Um, I think that'll be the last question because I have another call I have to get on. Um, but yeah, Latanya, you had a question that you want to ask? Yes, Eugene. This is something, this is one question that came up, not dealing with the protection plan, but just with our, say, our potential clients that want to that want to come in on the business aspects. Yeah, they wanted a question that came up today was they have a business already. So can they sign up under their business as an agent? That's what they wanted to know. Yeah, they can sign up. at uh, on, Yeah. So yes and no. So when did that client sign up? Um, They're thinking about signing up tonight. So oh, okay, they okay, just, okay. Yeah, they can sign up. So I thought there was a current client. So. <laughs> So they can sign up. If you see my screen, they can sign up under their business name. So they have an LLC. They can sign up. You can see, if you see here, like this is my account. Mine's my LLC. I have an LLC. So I get paid on okay. the LLC. But they have a business there that use the LLC. So when they go here, they don't actually personal, they don't actually business information. You know what I'm saying? So they can put the name information in there. They can put their company name, the company tax ID number. Yeah, they can sign up under the business name. I thought there was a current client because current clients they could upgrade to be an agent. Are you serious? They have, a certain period of time, they have a certain period of time that they could upgrade um, before <laughs> um, they could be an agent. Like they have uh, like three businesses. Oh, yeah. oh. Let's say someone become a customer. Let me make sure everyone lines is muted. If someone become a customer, they have three business days to decide that they could be an agent. If not, they have to wait three months. You know, if they sign as a customer, because some customers sign on. Man, I want to be an agent with you guys now. You have three business days. When that three business day pass. You have to wait three months, then you can upgrade to be an agent. So sometimes you talk to a client, if they want to be an agent, like I had another gentleman, Luke, he said, man, I signed up an agent last week. She want to be an agent with me now. I'm like, that time lapsed. So usually I tell my clients, if you open to earn some extra income, you might as well sign up to be an agent up front because now you have a way to be able to earn income and get your monthly fee waived by referring five people to the services. So um, yes, they could sign up um, using their business information. So. I recommend that they sign up immediately. Um, not the fact to get them signed up, but the reason why is because people have money right now to invest to get their credit in position. 
So why not get involved in the peak season? Because you have some people that try to get in and get in late in the game. So right now, all you guys that's in, you guys stay consistent. I'm telling you, the people that's grinding hard within six to eight months, you definitely gonna make six figures because you got in in the peak season. So I tell my prospects, like, you want to get involved now while it's busy. Why people have the money to get involved in peak season? So I'll let that person know, yes, you want to get involved immediately while the team is winning, while we got momentum, so that way you can reach the most success. Not saying you won't get it later on, but you're going to reach most success now Why are you doing the business, Why are you exposing people. You're going to have the most success with doing everything. So um, hopefully to answer your question, Latanya, the answer is yes, they can use their business name to get involved. Uh, yes, you, you answered my question. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, perfect. So I'll take one more question okay. and I, I end it here. Um, just let me know if you guys have any questions about the protection plan, about services um, that you guys have. I'm, am I officially field trainer? Yes, sir. Congratulations. Let's congratulate Alan Miller on knocking out field trainer within his first two weeks in the business. Okay. Congratulations, Congratulations. Alan. Alan. Yeah. This is, this is huge, bro. I'm, I'm super yeah. excited for you, man. Like, you got to put this thing down. And, you know, you went through some personal issues and hurdles. And, you know, I know about that. But I told Shawanda, man, we're going to rock this thing out. We're going to lock arms. And we're going to take this thing to a whole nother level. I think you got it in the perfect time. And God put it yeah. in position and got the right time. You understand, Alan? So yes. um, this is meant for you. This is your season. Let's go out there and write this thing out, man. Congratulations on knocking out field training, man. It's a huge accomplishment. Yeah. Get it. I just want to thank everybody. Shawanda, Genevieve. Oh, Genevieve. Thank you so much, sweetheart. LaShawn. I love you. Sweeta. Eugene. I love you, Alan. Everybody else is a part of the team. Thank you all. I love you guys. We wow. are winning. Yes. Let's get Back. it. I'm, I'm excited, Back. man. I'm, I'm so excited. Let's rock this thing out, Alan. This is huge, bro. I already know. Let's get it. I already it. know. Let's get it. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> Let's get it. My credit score right. went up again. <laughs> score went up again? Mine went up 24 yes. points. I'm two days wow. ago. I'm yes. super excited. Yes. Man, <laughs> you're going to be happy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, you're going to be happy, man. Let's go, man. Yes, yes. Man, yeah, man, trust the process oh and the patience. You get the results. Oh, yeah, my God. 24, yeah, points. 24 points for me. We must, it must have been all going on this a couple of it days, right? Yeah. That yes. For me yes. Let's go, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Let's yes. get it. I'm excited. Oh, man. God. <laughs> oh, you got. I love to hear. Oh, I like to hear testimonies God. and results like that, man. And man, I'm excited for man. you. So you said your score. So I can hear correctly. So the people can hear correctly. So I can hear correctly. You said your score went up by how many points? Oh, damn, yeah. My my score went up a hundred points. Mine went up. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> And that's lit, 100 you, points. You know, straight up and down, everybody that's on this call, I started with a 488. Wow. My credit score is a 578. Wow. Yes, bro. Yes, Let's get it. girl. Let's get it, man. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go, girl. She dancing. Let's go, man. Let's go. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Um, Hold on. I want to say something about the finger hut thing. You right, I apply for finger hut, and it is on my credit, and it brought my score up too. There you go. There you go. That's right. I'm giving you guys the plays, man. I'm giving you guys plays right now. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. And it also for my second set of the yellow brick road. I'm giving you guys plays right now. He's covering all the bases. He's covering all the bases. Huh? I gotta go now. I'm just gonna. I'm, he's covering all the bases. Yeah. yeah, I gotta go now. Yeah, going to church. Talk That's to you soon. Yeah. So you guys are getting the plays. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. So let's make it happen. I'm telling you, team, man. Like you guys are gonna win, man. This y'all winning season, as you guys can see. She's getting results with the services. She wanna get results with the services, and that's what it's about, man. I love it, man. I love to hear y'all, 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 y'all success with us and. And be out and be a blessing, man. Share your testimony with other people. So now, what we got to do? Do you have any positive credit reporting? Um, do you have any positive credit reporting? 
Uh, on your credit card? You, you have any positive oh, credit, credit reporting on your credit card? Uh, um, on your credit, uh, Genevieve? Genevieve? Yes. You have credit cards? Yes. yes, I do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep the balances low, man. I mean, like, within, like, I want to say within, like, another 60 days, man, you'll be in the 700s. What I do is basically, whatever I charge, I still pay my credit card twice in one month before the Perfect, before perfect. The yeah, you're going to get payments on the report. Perfect. Let's go. That's yeah. it. So within 60 days, man, you're definitely being in the 700. So I'm excited. Congratulations again, man. Let's make it happen. Um, man, I'm excited for all you guys, man. So you guys got the plays. You guys got the game. So I got this uh, recorded. You guys can pass down to your team. And we're going to go ahead and end it. Obviously, we got a webinar going on at 9 p.m. So you want to invite your okay. guests and prospects um, at 9 yes. p.m. I'll drop the link in the chat. And then also tomorrow, we're going to be doing our early bird call tomorrow at 9.20 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to have a powerhouse special guest. You guys going to be hearing from this gentleman, bro. Like, it blows my mind. He's 24 years old. He's a six-figure earner um, in our company. On average, he makes about $30,000, $40,000 a month in our company. Um, and he's going to be on our call tomorrow, nine o'clock, talking about how he came from struggling, um, living in a one bedroom apartment, sharing a room with his brother. Fast forward today, living the life of his dreams and multiple six figure earner in our company as well, too. So he'll be on our call tomorrow, um, 9, 20 a.m. So make sure you and your team is on there as well, too, guys. So with that right. being said, let's get it. Let's get people on the webinar. Let's go out to serve people. Let's get to work. Uh, Shawanda, let me know at 10 yes. o'clock at 1030 is good for your team. So we can have everybody on there. All right. Let's get it. No problem. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's All right. Peace. Let's go, peace.